let's have a look at the second question in this video so which of the two consumers prefer relatively more one good over the other which good does this consumer prefer and why okay so let's look at our utility for consumer a for consumer b and answer this question just by using the property of cop douglas function for the consumer a we can see that he spends half of his share on good x half of his share on good y so he spends 50% of his money on X, 50% of his money on good Y, meaning he has the same preference for good X and good Y since he invests the same amount. So same preference for consumer A. Now let's use the same logic for consumer B and see what's happening there. If we have a look here, we can see that he is spending one over three, which is the same as 33% on good X and 2 over 3, which is the same as 66% on good Y. So let's write it over here like that. He spends 30, let me change colors because this is not good, 33% on good X of his income goes for X, 66% of his income goes for good Y. Well, if he spends twice as much on good Y, it means he likes good Y more than good X, so he has a preference for Y. So the preference goes for Y. Consumer B prefers Y relatively more than X. And that's it over here. Now let's answer question three in this video as well, because it's gonna be also an intuitive answer we which we can do pretty fast. Which of the two consumers has indifference curves that are steeper in the XY space and why? So what does steeper mean and what does it mean when it will re re relate it to indifference curves? Let's, uh, let's just draw an example over here below so if we have an x y plane right the graph of x and y and we draw an indifference curve this would look like a steep indifference curve so meaning that the slopes at any point are quite sharp are quite steep the rate of change is quite steep quite high at most of the points on the curve if we draw if we draw a flatter indifference curve it would look maybe something like that and in this case, the slopes, the, the tangent lines to the indifference curves at most points are quite horizontal, are quite flat. So this is the opposite of this one. Now, we, could, we know that the slope tangent to the indifference curve, so slope tangent to the indifference curve is described by the AMRS. So the AMRS is the slope tangent to the indifference curve. Now, we, what we can see is that the AMRS of good, AMRS of consumer A is Y over X. So let's write it over here. AMRS of consumer A is equal to Y over X, but AMRS of consumer B is equal to 1 over 2 times Y over X. What does this mean? It means that the absolute value, or just to not confuse the math here, let's just say the AMRS, right? The AMRS of consumer B is half than the AMRS of consumer A, meaning that this one is smaller. So if this one is smaller than the AMRS of consumer A, that means that this one is flatter. A smaller AMRS means a flatter slope, means, means something like that. Whereas a, a higher AMRS value means a higher slope, means a steeper slope tangent to the indifference curve. So consumer A has steeper uh, AMRS. Consumer A has steeper uh, AMRS, steeper indifference curve, so to speak. The shape of the indifference curve is steeper. So for him to get one more unit of X, he's willing to give up more units of Y. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we'll finish question four.